Hi, MC Bling Daddy here. And today I'd like to show you how you can use a text file to input commands into a Minecraft world. If you're going to put blocks in a world, of course, you have to know where you're going to put them. So let's take a look and see uh, where we might be able to put uh, the blocks that I'm intending to put in. And if you take a look at looking at, which is nearly at the bottom, a couple rows up from the bottom on the left um, of the text here, you'll see that I'm looking at minus 148, 78, 73. So let's round that off to about minus 150, 80, and 75 or something like that. So I want to put something a little bit above this block that I'm looking at. So that's where I will... Um, target my um, box when I input them. Okay, so let's go into the um, world of Windows and we will take a look at the files that we need in order to run uh, Minecraft and to um, input commands and basically this is a template uh, text file that I will be using and it turns out that the file that you need is uh, basically a combination of two different kinds of commands the first couple rows you'll see here are commands for Windows actually and one of them is to change the directory of focus to where our server is located and the um, commands that we'll be using will be to uh, uh, start up the server and input commands uh, into the server now there are a number of good uh, videos and other resources for telling you how to set up a server so I'm not going to go into that um, but I will say that the typical kind of instruction that you get from uh, Mojang is to start up Java using a uh, path to the executable file with some other parameters and then to specify the jar file that's used by Java um, as the latest uh, Minecraft uh, jar file that, uh, that holds the code for the server. And uh, one of the things they suggest you do is to use no GUI. Well, what happens in this case is that Java starts up Minecraft server whatever you specify and a command window which we'll see in a little bit will open up but the graphical interface the graphical user interface to be more specific will not open up um, and as a consequence you may be able to enter commands into the command window that opens up so those are the window windows commands and then as you can see we have a number of um, minecraft commands that we want to use and notice that the template here has things that are around the origin and an uh, elevation of 70 we need it a little bit higher so let's take a look at the file that we're going to actually use and by the way I might note that this is a .txt file a text file um, it opens up in notepad and uh, as a consequence is easy to handle in terms of uh, editing the text but rather than using this template what I'm going to use is a, a text file that um, does not have the command to change the directory of focus to the server and that's because we're going to start out directly in the server folder and <clears throat> the execution of Java if you set up your uh, user uh, parameters uh, correctly um, you can actually execute Java just with um, the name of the uh, the, the file 
um, the compiler, if you will, of, of Java. And um, so what I have also uh, pared things down to is simply to specify the jar. Now this is rather critical because it's the jar, Java executing a jar that's specified is what starts up Java and um, allows it to input um, text or commands from the keyboard or whatever. Um, but the reason we don't use this file directly, it's in a real sense is a command uh, file, is because um, when we execute Java, it opens up a command um, window and then only allows the commands to be executed that are typed in from the keyboard. But we want to actually enter these commands from this file. As you can see here, we have a number of um, block commands. Uh, we also have some other commands uh, for time of day and um, other things about uh, how the game system uh, is executed. And so what happens is this first command intended for Windows opens up Java, opens up the Minecraft server in Java, and then in the rest of the command um, window that we will see um, executes commands for Minecraft. They are input um, into the game that starts up. So let's see what we've got that will actually do this and it's called a batch file dot bat and we will open it with a right click and an edit and very simply what it says to do is to type the um, text that's in the 2d flyer dot text window uh, file that we just looked at and uh, feed that into this pipe means feed it into another command window so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this out so you can see what's happening uh, with this file if we simply execute it without the feed and as you see a command window uh, pops up but then immediately goes away because it has well actually I'll tell you what let's do let's type in a command to hold the window open and there it is this is as you can see our uh, right click we will mark some of this our uh, Java command and the uh, rest of the text and it's just treated as text that's all it is so what we do then is pressing the spacebar uh, we put in our command uh, window to feed that text into and saving it what will happen is when we double click on 2d flyer.bat it feeds it you can see here the java jar minecraft server etc and what happens is as we come down to the end notice that i didn't use the no gui um, we can't type in commands there, but we have a GUI interface where we can place commands. Now, if you'll notice, there are uh, statements in, that go into the log saying block placed. So those blocks that were in our text file that we fed into this command window, those blocks have been placed. And since the server is now up, um, oh, and notice also the set time to zero and so on. Since the server is now up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go into the server and take a look and see what, in fact, we have accomplished. So, 
takes a little while for things to come up. And this mouse. We have to play multiplayer if we're going to use the server. And you can always use the uh, interface to the local server if you uh, have a server going because it means it's on the same machine. And if you'll notice, oh, we got pushed out of the way a little bit. Let's take a look, turn around and take a look. Well, these are the blocks that I asked to be placed. And in fact, we have some pistons, we have some sticky blocks, and there they are. And let's see if we can take a look and see what the altitude is. Um, 80. Um, we're looking at well, minus 151 and 73. It's close enough. And so we have accomplished putting those blocks that we wanted and doing the other commands into Minecraft. So just to see what we've accomplished, let's take a look what happens. And what we've got here is actually a flyer that will fly us out over the ocean. So if you are interested, by the way, in taking a look to see how the um, uh, flyer is constructed, yeah, let me get out here and see if I can stop it. These things are a little tricky sometimes. Yeah. This mouse. Okay, there we go. Placing a few redstone blocks. So anyway, if you're interested in how the uh, this two-directional flyer, it'll actually go the other direction as well, it's constructed. I have a video that I did earlier. You can take a look at that. But for now, um, I would say that's about it. Thanks for watching.